Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the plugin called Spawner Shop. To have this plugin fully working, you'll need to get a few other plugins a permissions plugin, an economy plugin, and a vault. These are the plugins I'm going to be using, but if you have alternative ones that work for you, you can use them. Once you've got those, go to the link in the description. It's a spigot page where you can download the latest version of the plugin. After you've downloaded and saved the plugin on your PC, go back to the control panel and go to File Manager, Plugins, Upload the file, and find the file you just downloaded. When the upload is complete, restart the server and you're done with the installation. Now it's time to configure the plugin. Go back into File Manager, Plugins, then Spawner Shop and open the config.yml. Here you can change everything about the plugin. The shop name option is the name of the shop menu when you type in slash spawners in game. The inventory size is how big the shop menu is. It must be a multiple of 9 since there are 9 slots in a row when you open the menu. The smallest it can be is 45 since there are so many mob spawners that you can get, but if you disable some of the mob spawners you can change that to a lower number. The cooldown is the amount of time you have to wait to purchase another spawner. You can change the currency sign if you want, but I'm going to leave it as is. The prefix is the top line of the sign. So basically to make the sign work, you need to type in open square brackets, spawner shop, closed square brackets on the first line of the sign. At the spawner section are all the spawners you can get. You can enable and disable each spawner by typing true or false next to each one. I'm just going to be disabling the enderman spawner by typing false here because I don't want people to buy the enderman mob spawner from the menu. The buying and selling price is the price within the menu when you type in slash spawners. You can always make up your own price when you're creating a sign. I'm going to go down to the parrot spawner over here and change the price to let's say 1 for demonstration purposes and leave the sell price as is for now. Save all the changes and go to the permissions files when you're done. All the permission nodes are on the spigot plugin page here, so if you want to set up permissions for your server you can use these. All of them are self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go over them. I'm also not gonna be setting up permissions for every group right now. I'm just going to give myself all the permissions so I can show you how everything works. Once you've set everything up, save and restart the server to apply all the changes. So, to access the spawner shop menu, type in slash spawners. As you can see, it says Lux's spawner shop on the top just as we specified, and the parrot spawner cost is $1, and as you can see when I right click it to buy it, it takes the money away from me. To create the signs just grab one and write on the top line, open squared brackets, spawner shop and closed square brackets, and make sure to capitalize it correctly as well. If you click done right now, it'll actually tell you the formatting to create the actual shop. I'm going to make it that you can buy spider mob spawners for $10. And boom, you're done. All you have to do is just right click the sign to buy it. It doesn't work if you left click it though, or punch it, so make sure it's a right click. I'm going to quickly create a shop to sell the spider spawners just by changing the buy part to sell on the sign. To sell the spawners, you have to hold it in your hand and right click the sign. And that's about it. I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.